where we are joined today by Sheikh Abdul Karim Yahya, hailing from Oakland, California, uh, now resident of Detroit. We're going to talk about a couple things about his background and study, and then we're going to shift the topic to the love of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and how that is a fuel, the fuel of our religious life and our spiritual life and our work and our da'wah and everything else. So firstly, I'd like to welcome Sheikh Abdul Karim. Welcome for the first time, uh, your uh, first time being on our live stream and hopefully not the last. Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah khairan. Thank you to you and all of the participants and the workers. It's an honor to be welcomed. I mean, I mean, right, can you raise the volume a bit on the TV? So, uh, Sheikh Abdul Karim Yahya, let me tell you all a, a little bit of a personal anecdote. Uh, when I was able to go to Tarim, I was very young and did not know much of what was going on. And there were two brothers who were the first people I met in the city of, uh, in, the, in, the, in the capital city uh, of Sana'a. I was welcomed by a brother named Jamal al-Din Haisaw. Of course, Abdul Karim knows that he's his old friend. Uh, and he's now in, the, in Central America giving dawah. He's from Atlanta. Sheikh Jamal al-Din Haisa was such a, a good host on those first few nights uh, where there's a ribat there in Sana'a and we stayed there for a couple days. I was eager. I wanted to come right away. He said, just wait a little bit and, and rest up. When we first got to Dar al-Mustafa, I don't know if you remember this day. That day, the first, they took me to a room where the Americans live in and that you were there and you had just gotten up from a Qailula right before Dhuhr and had a big miswak, like bigger than this, uh, and, and then started talking to me. And it was very, it was very rough around the edges. I was used to that. And you're like, and your name is? And uh, <laughs> I was like, man, who's this guy? And then, um, you know what this is? Do you know what that is? And making sure that I'm gonna be set straight. And then there was no, beating around the bushes. It's like, all right, this is the tartiv here. This is what you're going to do. You're going to do this, 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 and this. You got a problem with this? And I remember one of the first things that you said is, yeah, you got a problem with Tawassal, right? <laughs> it was like a filter to weed out, <laughs> the first filter to weed out all, any type of person who would have an issue. And uh, I was like scared stiff. <laughs> the next person was Ibrahim Osiefa. I gave him more scared stiff, right? <laughs> Uh, subhanallah uh, and then um, I gave him more so you put were in the level for me as like the elder guard and those people that I looked up where, where we're headed in, in, in this dawah and in this talim so I never forget that and now we're in a situation where we're only about two hours away by plane Detroit, Michigan not that far away from us so tell us uh, first of all let's get to how did you get from Oakland to Tarim. How is a, a young man, if I'm not mistaken, you're from Oakland, California, right? So I'm from Berkeley. Oh, it's muted, right? How? Yeah. Good? Okay. Alhamdulillah. So I'm actually was born and raised in Berkeley, California, but I was part of a jama'at that is in Oakland, California. A jama'at? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, it was presided over by an imam who's actually recently passed, Imam Abdullah Musa. And, um, how did I get to Tadim, uh, the acting Amir in the masjid I was a part of that was in Oakland? He advised me to start reading Al Imam al Ghazali. Mm. Really just fell in love with Al Imam al Ghazali from the trans old translation of Ihya al Madin. And that inspired me to want to study. And this was like you converted into this Jama'ah? So I converted when I was a high school student in Berkeley High School in my junior Gee, year. Berkeley. Yeah, and then I, uh, there were members of this Jama'ah that attended Jumu'ah and, um, and other, they were at UC Berkeley, and I met them, and then got introduced to uh, that community and eventually resided in that community in Oakland. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Yeah. Okay, and then, so, how did you learn about Teddy? So I learned about, uh, so first of all, I began Imam Ghazali, then uh, I had a sister-in-law who is um who was 
studying at Jama Abi Nur in Damascus while Imam Zaid was there, Imam Zaid Shakir. And they she was on home on at home for a visit to um, to the United States and there was a Dean intensive held in nineteen ninety five in New Mexico at Dar es Salaam. So I attended that and was introduced to um, Sheikh Zaid Shakir there, was very much inspired by uh, Sheikh Abdullah Al Qadi. Um, and also Sheikh Hamza Yusuf was present, and um, the teachings were very inspiring. Um, and essentially, what I understood was that, um, you know, what's described in Ihya, that's what I want to do. And, and these brothers uh, could perhaps point me in that kind of a direction. So um, my sister-in-law was already in Syria based. I began, I corresponded some with uh, Sheikh Zaid, but especially uh, Sheikh Abdullah Al Qadi, he introduced me to um, to uh, Sheikh Nuh Keller, and I began corresponding with him and his wife as well. And then through my sister-in-law, applied to study in Damascus, and then um, and then moved there to study. And then in the summer of '97, Sheikh Nuh Keller and his wife sent a group of us to um, Tadim for the first our first attendance of what was then the third. Dora Sophia, the summer intensive interview.